don't know. It's weird. How are you? Good. Where's How you? are you guys? Good. 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 So, how did you get the idea for this script? Do you have like a Don John inside of you, and do all men have that? Yeah, I suppose we all have the tendency to want to uh, oversimplify our lives and and treat people more like things than like people. It's easier to assume that you know. Oh, I know what you are, rather than actually paying attention and, and communicating with an individual and unique person. And so, uh, yeah, I think we all we all have that tendency. Did you meet a lot of Don Johns in real life? Um. I think I've met my fair share of Don John types. I grew up in New York, and so I'm familiar with that, um, you know, that whole kind of, uh, you know, style. But it seems to transcend, uh, you know, just um, location. I mean, I think there's that kind of misogynistic, um, you know, self-absorbed um, kind of... Uh, Lothario in every culture. Not to belittle you or put any kind of label on that character. Say, be nice. Come on. Yeah, I think you're right. With a heart of gold. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Deep down inside, they all have. This is kind of like a twisted take on sex and love, in a way. And But do you think that porn is more realistic than romantic comedies, or the other way around? Or are they just both the same unrealistic? Things? Well, it depends on, on which ones. You know, there's... I think whether you're talking about pornography or romantic movies or uh, music videos or pop songs or whatever else, um, you know, there's good ones and bad ones. And, and, and it really what it has to do with is how the viewer takes it. You know, if you, if you watch, uh, you know, a really simple romantic movie, for example, and then you, you want your real life to be that way, that's going to set yourself up for disappointment. But if you can understand, if you can watch that romantic movie or that pornography clip or listen to that, you know, romantic love song or whatever and be like, well, this is, this is a nice and, and pretty treat, but not to be compared to real life necessarily, um, then that's different. Do you feel that um, Hollywood sometimes portrays you with these unrealistic ideas that people think you have these lives that you don't really live or they have you know, opinions about you that are not real and how? Um, I think, I don't know about Hollywood, but I think the media does, yeah, certainly. Mostly. And, uh, you know, I guess that's par for the course. You know, people want to, um, you know, they, they, they like to keep the fantasy alive, whether it's good or bad or dramatic or, you know, more interesting than you actually are or perhaps nobody knows the real interesting you or whatever it is. Um, you know, you, you can be pigeonholed and labeled and, you know, torn apart and put up on the pedestal again and whatever. And I think you just have to, um, you know, it's an adjustment, of course, to be able to just kind of let that sort of, you know, you can't just always have the water off a duck's back, like, let it just slide. You know, and sometimes you do get affected by certain things and things are frustrating and you, you want to comment but you don't and you want to engage and you know you, I think you just kind of it's it's a like a learning curve um, I'm st I still adjust I'm still in the adjustment phase of you know um, figuring out how to kind of you know dodge the uh, the effects of the media glare but um you know it's uh, I think you just have to kind of try to stay grounded as much as possible Great, thank you <laughs>